Hello and welcome to the cook along. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make some Chinese vegetable spring rolls. I hope by now that you've got all the equipment and ingredients ready. If you haven't, here's what you're going to need. Okay, so now that you've got all of your equipment and ingredients ready, let's get cooking. The first part of this recipe is to prepare the vegetables and you've got two options when it comes to that. You can either prepare some fresh ones and you can see here that I've got some peppers, some red onion, a carrot and some uh, red cabbage, which will obviously all need to be peeled and sliced into nice thin pieces. The other option is to use, which I'm going to use today, is to use some frozen um, mixed stir fry vegetables. And if I hold that up just there, you can see you've got that selection of bean sprouts, um, you've got some carrots, you've got onions, you've got peppers, and also some peas in there, along with some white cabbage. So you've got all that mixture of vegetables and it saved you a little bit of time. So I'm gonna be using um, this one um, just here today. However, in addition to that, I've also got some ginger and some garlic, which we need to prepare. Um, and I just want to show you very quickly how to prepare your um, ginger. And uh, lots of people start to peel it down just like that. They peel it with a vegetable peeler or something like that. But the easiest way to peel your garlic, and you can already see that I've got some uh, that I prepared earlier. Um, you're just going to peel that down just like that with the tip of your teaspoon, just to uh, pull that down just as so. And you can see that I have perfectly peeled the skin from my ginger. What I'm then going to do, just like I'll do with my garlic, is I'm going to cut him in half, cut him in half again using my bridge, and then fingers a claw, and you just want some little thin slices um, just like that. And obviously for my garlic, what you're going to do is you're going to remove your garlic cloves, and then rather than topping and tailing it, all that you're going to do is you're just going to bang it down, this is what we call the anger buster method, and that means that you can easily remove the outside skin just like that. Then hands a bridge, and then fingers a claw, and you're just gonna slice those down just as so. Knife on the table, tidy chef, and you've got all of those prepared just there. So this is stage number one. In a couple of moments, it's over to you to prepare your vegetables, prepare your ginger and your garlic, and I'll see you once it's done. Okay, so now that your vegetables have been stir fried, it's time to start making these spring rolls. You can see here that I've got a little bit of phyllo pastry and you can pick up phyllo pastry these days from most supermarkets. It comes in really, really long sheets, um, just like this. I think this variety, which is a supermarket owned brand, comes in little squares, um, just like that. And all that we're going to do is we're not gonna make massive um, spring rolls. I'm just gonna find halfway and just cut him down just like that so you can see that rather than um, just six sort of large sheets I've now got 12 little sheets just like that and you're actually going to be making 12 little spring rolls. The next thing is all I'm going to do is I'm going to take one sheet of phyllo pastry and then we can start to make our spring rolls. You can see how thin it is. You can probably see my little hand through there as well, right? Um, so all that we're going to do is pop it onto your baking tray. And then the next thing is we need to add a little bit of oil. So this is gonna act as our little bit of glue, but also help to uh, make it nice and crumbly when we come to eat it afterwards. We don't want to be spreading on any oil. That's why I'm not going to use a pastry brush today. I'm just gonna use this little teaspoon. So the rule that we're going to follow today is dip, 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 tap, 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 dip, 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 tap, 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 right? Not dippy, 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 tappy, 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 dip, 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 tap, tap, tap. So literally just six little pieces of um, oil just there. Then I've got my stir fried vegetables. And for this spring roll shape, all that we're going to do is pop our filling in the middle at the bottom. And a canal, a guaylod, okay, in the middle, at the bottom. Then all I'm going to do is I fold or I'm going to make pluggy. I fold, I'm going to make pluggy. I pluggy the bottom and then I roll it up. My final job is I dip, 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 
tap, 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 and you can see I've made my perfect little spring roll and I can pop him onto my baking tray and you can see my first spring roll has been made um, just there. I'll show you once again because this recipe will easily make 12 little um, spring rolls. So pop your, um, and you can see I've got my chopping board um, sort of portrait because it's much easier to uh, to make it. So once again, okay, you're going to feel a bit daft. Dip, 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 tap, tap, tap. Dip, 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 tap, tap, tap. Then I've got my filling. Don't be an underfiller and just add a small amount. But equally, I see lots of adults trying to be overfillers. Don't be an overfiller either. You just need just a spoonful. If you add too much, all of your um, phyllo is going to split up. Then, if you remember, I fold, I pluggy, I pluggy, and pluggy. If it rips, it doesn't matter because I roll them up. And then pop him onto my baking tray. And my final job is dip, 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 tap, tap, tap. And you've got those two um, just there. As I said, this recipe will easily make um, 12 um, little spring rolls. So whilst you're ma making your spring rolls, I'm going to finish off my 12. I'm going to bake these in the, my little halogen oven just behind me over there for about 8 to 12 minutes at about 190 degrees until they're nice and crisp and golden brown. And I promise you, these, in the words of my West William friend, are cow in lush. I'll see you in a couple of moments. Hello and welcome back. I hope your spring rolls are now baking off in the oven and your kitchen, I promise, is going to start smelling absolutely fantastic in a couple of moments. You can see that mine have just come out and I'm just popping them just onto this little cooling wire, just like that, just to stop the base um, of the spring rolls from going soggy whilst they're cooling down because we're not going to serve them straight away because otherwise they will burn our mouths. Now you'll leave those to cool for just a few moments and then you can either serve these as a little healthy snack or you could even um, serve these as part of a meal. I'm going to be having these tonight with my uh, as part of my fake away uh, beat the takeaway so I've got some sp uh, sweet and sour chicken as well as some egg fried rice and I'm going to have these on the side and you can see I've got some sweet chilli dipping sauce just there so I'm just going to serve three of those with a little sp sprinkling of parsley just on top just like that to bring out all the colours and I promise you these in the words of my West Whalian friends are absolutely cowing lush. Well I hope that you have enjoyed the cooking along with me today. I certainly have enjoyed showing you how to make the spring rolls. Don't forget that all the recipes are available on our Facebook page and the Happy Facebook page as well as our website which is Cooking Together .co.uk. I look forward to cooking with you again in the future, but in the meantime, happy cooking.